Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anthonia. I'm a fourth year medical student and I just wanted to answer some questions about med school. If you're new here, I normally make videos about med school, university, lifestyle, and I throw some commentary in there as well. So if that sounds good to you, feel free to subscribe, like this video and keep watching. Today I've been in a really chatty mood and I just feel like talking about med school a little bit. So I thought I'd just go and look online, mainly on Reddit and answer some questions that people were asking about med school. I haven't really planned this video completely or scripted it at all. I just thought that I'd read the questions and see what pops into my head first. Hopefully you guys find it useful and without further ado let's get into this video starting off with a biggie how did you know med school was right for you this is a really interesting question i work open days for my med school and for the wider university so this is a question i actually get a lot like how did i decide that i wanted to do medicine i actually talk about it more in my how i got into med school video which i'll link up here somewhere but basically i think i got to the end of year 11 so 15 16 ish years old and i started thinking about university i started thinking about the things that i was good at and i kind of narrowed down to a couple of subjects like maths and psychology and medicine potentially and i just went to go and try and find work experience went to go and try and find what these degrees could help me do and medicine just seemed like the perfect fit. I worked in a hospice over my gap year and I actually found that quite difficult, you know, talking and interacting with patients who were receiving end of life care basically. But it was so important for me to see that before I went to medical school because that is part of being a medical student and being a doctor, seeing patients who are dying essentially. I think through experiences like that and reading up about medical school and even watching YouTube videos of people who were in medical school or who were doctors at that time really helped me realize that, okay, right, I'm interested in this. Maybe I could be good at this and it's worth a shot. So I think in terms of knowing whether medicine is right for you, in my opinion, it's all about finding out as much information as possible and just seeing if you would like to do those things or if you feel like you could be a good fit. I definitely think everyone should be using YouTube and using any links that they have, anyone that they know that's gone off to study medicine, whether it's through a school, a friend of a friend of a friend, you know, just try and gauge what people's experiences were and what they say about their training. Doing all of that plus work experience should give you some sort of idea of whether medicine is for you. Next one, how is med school during a pandemic? So currently for me, I'm in my fourth year of medical school. I study in the UK. So in the UK and in a lot of Europe, medicine is actually normally like a five or six year degree. For me personally, I've made my five year degree into a six year degree because I decided to intercalate. So take a year out to just do a different degree. I'm not on the wards this year. I'm not in placement. Instead, I'm studying global health, which is linked to medicine just with a different hat on it. Essentially, I should have hopefully uploaded my intercalated degree update by now. So if I have, I'll link it up here. That's what I'm doing this year. So I guess for me, there isn't the aspect of going into placement it's mainly just been logging onto teams going to seminars going to lectures going to q a sessions doing pre-reading reading a lot of academic papers as well and just learning that way instead however i do have friends who decided not to intercalate and who are in years above and below me as well so they're still properly in med school from what i've heard from them it sounds like placement is largely unchanged it's just the fact that you now need ppe to go into the ward you don't go anywhere without a mask you don't go anywhere without gloves if you're going to surgery you need to be fit tested to make sure that you can wear the protective hoods and things but it doesn't sound like anybody's had placement hours reduced really it just sounds as though now you have extra steps to being safe on wards i do kind of miss the wards this year to be honest i'm enjoying my degree and i I think for me it was definitely a good idea to take a year out from medicine to do something a little bit different but when my friends tell me about their experiences in the wards it always makes me uh, yearn a little bit one of my friends was telling me a couple of days ago that he had scrubbed in on a handful of c-sections which just made me so happy for him but just made me miss the opportunity to actually get hands-on with patients so yeah that's how med school has been during the pandemic for me and my friends the next question i've got here is undergraduate or postgraduate medicine this question is mostly targeted at the uk european med students or prospective med students in the uk and europe you can study medicine as an undergraduate 
degree or as a postgraduate degree. So as far as I understand it in America and Canada and places like that, it tends to just be a four year degree after you've done a bachelor's degree of four years. But across the pond for us, we had the opportunity to go straight into medicine from high school. That's what I did. I decided to pursue medicine as an undergraduate degree, but some people would decide to pursue it as a postgraduate degree. Am I med school people who've opted to do postgraduate medicine as opposed to undergraduate medicine actually join the same course as us it's just they join in second year instead of first year choosing between whether you want to study postgrad med or undergrad med is a personal choice really for me i chose undergrad med because i didn't know that there was anything else i wanted to do before i studied medicine by the time i was applying to university out of school i was pretty sold on the idea of medicine there wasn't anything else that i really wanted to study so it seemed like a logical choice for me but when I talked to my grad friends on the course at my med school and my other friends who I went to sick form with but who decided to do medicine as a postgrad degree they give various reasons why they chose to study postgraduate medicine for some people they just didn't really know whether they wanted to do medicine until they finished their first degree for other people it's just whether they got into undergraduate medicine or postgraduate medicine getting onto medical courses no matter where you are is really really competitive so for some people I've spoken to they've literally just said that they didn't happen to get in first time round so they opted to study a degree first and then try it again and see whether it works out. At the end of the day, it's personal preference. The only thing I'll say for the UK in particular is that undergraduate medicine is funded mostly by Student Finance England. So the first four years of my degree are funded by Student Finance England. I can get a loan and they pay off my tuition fees. The last two years for me, or one year if you decide to do a five-year programme, are paid by the NHS, like the NHS bursary scheme with postgraduate degrees sometimes it can be a bit difficult to try and secure the funding i believe for graduate specific medicine courses which are four years long instead of five years long you have to pay for your first year yourself and then the nhs bursary scheme will pay the last three years however if you're a graduate who has gone on to an undergraduate course i do believe that you have to fund the first four years yourself and then in your fifth year the nhs bursary scheme pays the rest for you obviously it's something that you'll have to just do your research into and see whether you can afford to do it one way or the other all undergraduate courses grad courses they should be teaching you the same content because at the end of the day when you graduate you're all supposed to be on the same level it's just down to personal preference a lot of the time to see which one works for you any tips for a new med school student the first video i ever uploaded onto my channel was actually a five mistakes i made in my first year of medical school video if you haven't checked it out it's super old but i'll link it up here in that video i talk about the mistakes that i made in my first year that people should try and avoid and even though that video is old i do think that the advice in it is quite sound so check that out definitely in terms of advice i'd give to first year students now as a fourth year student i'd encourage first year med students to just write down goals that they want to achieve throughout the year but don't just make them academic goals make goals for every single aspect of your life whether that's wanting to pass a driving test wanting to get more comfortable making new friends wanting to try something new write down all those goals that you have and try and work towards them because first year especially goes really really fast and before you blink you're at the end. Life starts to get a bit more serious in second year and a bit more serious in third year, fourth year, as you go on, and then you're a doctor. At the end of the day, you're at medical school to get a degree, so it is important for you to have those academic goals, but it's also important to keep it realistic, you know? You don't need to be gunning for the top 1% if it's going to put an unnecessary strain on the rest of your life. If you're top 1%, but you're basically killing yourself to do it, then you're not gonna enjoy med school. Your quality of life matters too. And setting goals goals for yourself in the other aspects of your life is so important. It keeps you grounded and it reminds you that medicine is not the be all and end all. It might be a big part of your life but it shouldn't be all your life is. There are other parts of you outside of medicine that should exist. And by writing down goals and actually trying to keep yourself accountable, you'll find that you're having a more well-rounded experience. That's what I'm trying to do these days and that's what I advise all my friends in younger years to do. And I think it's probably one of the most balanced ways to try and live your life so that medicine doesn't become all consuming, but you're still actually striving to get things done in medicine as well. My scrubs don't fit. For this particular question, I'll read out the post as well. I'm starting clinical rotation soon and the scrubs I've ordered don't fit well at all. I'm not trying to be some fashion model, but I feel ridiculous. How bad does this look? Should I try and find a pair that fit better? 
I'll pop a picture of the scrubs here. Right. I have to be honest, I've never had a pair of scrubs really fit me well. At my med school, we actually get given scrubs from first year and then we kind of get supplemented with scrubs throughout the rest of our years at med school. But you always have to make a compromise. For me personally, I always go for baggy scrubs. In my opinion, the scrubs that my med school provides us with are really tailored for men, so they didn't really account for the shape of the female body. So I always have to go for a size up just to be safe. Scrubs are not meant to be fashionable. I've noticed with American and Canadian med school YouTubers that they always seem to buy their scrubs and they always seem to get really, really nice patterned, colorful scrubs and things. In the UK, it really isn't like that. The two types of scrubs I wear are the scrubs that my med school provide for me every single year and the surgery scrubs in whatever hospital I go to if I'm scrubbing in or observing a surgery. Although the scrubs in this picture are quite oversized. In my first year of med school, I think I had a scrub top that was literally this oversized, if not more. It's a part of life. Scrubs never really fit properly, except for like Dr. Mike scrubs. I never really look at scrubs and think that they need to be overly tailored or anything like that. But if you want to tailor them and stuff, that's your own prerogative. But I feel like ill-fitting scrubs are a rite of passage that we just have to live through, really. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope that it's been interesting and it's kind of shone a bit more of a light on some comments med school questions that I've seen online. If you have any other questions feel free to drop them down in the comments or if you have any additional advice feel free to drop it down in the comments as well. If you've liked this video feel free to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!